Hey everybody, welcome back to the old well. So let's uh, start making our way through here. Looks like we've got a lot of gloopies here. So let's uh, take that down and put that back up. Hmm, I reckon we also want to put our dark resistance up. Okay, so let's go this way first. Now we can go down here. Have a look here. Let's go this way. Let's uh, clear out the dead ends first. As per usual. Fresh wonder water down here, really. Higgledy stone. Wheat. Stuff that smells all lovely like a flower. Lots of wheat. Gotta be, right? There we go. Who are you then? Borby the Bandit. Cool. Welcome aboard. Actually, just quickly, uh, it won't take a second. I just want to check the. Uh, not that. All that. This. Just reading through these quickly to see if there's a friend with a princess. I'm assuming it's, assuming it's a water one, but uh, I'll look at those a bit more closely uh, off screen. Yeah, I've missed him. Okay. 
Ah, I didn't see that doorway over there. Okay. Oh, what the hell? All oh, right, hello, Ellie Jelly. How do you like that? Yeah, I didn't think so. Ooh, a gloomy sort of size. Yes, all right. Slightly increased dark damage, boosts MP restored by melee attacks. Alright. Looks pretty badass as well. Hmm. Hmm. Is that a dead end? No. Let's go this way first though. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wonder if um, perhaps equipping that sword wasn't the best idea, because these look like dark elemental guys, don't they? Mm, we'll keep it for a bit, see how it goes. Wait, no, wait, let me read that again. Slightly increases dark damage. Surely that doesn't mean damage received, does it? Hmm. Huh. He's from the first game. Oh. I like that guy. I think this must be a statue of one of my ancestors. These braziers, something tells me they're important. Why don't we try lighting them? Hey. You remember the Kindle spell I taught you back at the factory, right? Okay. The number 15 is carved in to the base of the brazier, cast Kindle on it. Also 15. Also 15. Okay. is really were important. I think the numbers carved into them must relate to how long they must they live for, so we need to try and light them all before the time runs out. Okay. Nice. Whoever came up with this was quite the trickster. Could almost have been Zip himself. Let's go this way. Cool sword. Right, look at that already. Ah, not that good. Okay. Is 
Zappy gaudy galoshes, eh? Pretty good. Let's give them to Evan. Quick, uh, quick save, just in case. Yeah. Talk something about a timer, but I don't see any timer. Light it just in case. Twenty-five. Let's find the mother two quick smart. Oh, okay. Right, so we can't go through there. Probably want to do this one last, then, don't we? So let's uh, let's light this one first. Uh, no, probably not. Probably. Yeah, I reckon we want to light this one first, and then work our way back. Tiny. Okay, let's go. Let's go. This way. Aha. Do we need to light that first? Get that going first, perhaps. Ah, okay. That's right. Probably need to do that first. Okay. Did I forget to light that second one? I did, didn't I? Oh, God, I'm such an idiot. Ay, 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 ay. Sorry about that, guys. It's just uh, fully focused on getting to that uh, propeller leaf. Alright, this, this is it. This is it. Okay, I'm not gonna forget this time. Right then. Do something. Calm down, Lofty. You could have just reminded me to get that one instead of just telling me how much time's left, huh? Satisfying. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, it's definitely not as effective against him. Ow. I like heavy jelly. Ugh, come on. There we go. Oh, another Higgledy Stone too. And I think that was a spear for Tani. Yes, it was. Bones, the ones you could probably whip someone good and proper with. All spiky they are. Spiky bone? Ah, it'd be that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Dimity the Dastardly. Okay, well, he's not going to replace Tove at the moment because Tove's level 10, so. Sorry. Another potential wand for Evan. Oh yeah, look at these. Okay, let's give the other one to you. Okay. Shall we get him? So we got more. Did you hear that? Sounds like someone needs our help. We've got to get this door open. More braziers. Come on. Alright then, so let's have a look at what we've got here. Let's just heal up first. Not gonna save. So, got one up here. So let's get this going. We don't know where the other ones are. So why don't we go find those first? And kill everything along the way. Watch your back. Here goes. Make yourselves useful. Kick. 
Come here. And everything's dead. Of course it is. Right. There's nothing here, but we could go... So when we come through, we'll have to go straight down the right-hand side here. Have a look then. So there's one right there. Okay. And then we can come straight through to this one. Oh, go Evan. Okay, so why don't we grab this one and work our way backwards. We could certainly do it with doing the first one, but I suspect you wouldn't be able to light them with, with all the enemies around. Just gotta hope they don't respawn. Way. Okay, they're not here. Good. Should be alright. It's going to be a bit tight. Go, 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 go. Oof, I think we got it. Ah, nuts. Is that right up here? Yeah, sorry. Got more to explore. We're going back. So let's just head down this way. Let's see where that thing is up on the right here. Huh. What's that doing here? Let's check out what else is down here first, then we'll come back to that. I expect it's a dead end. Something else here? Oh. Ooh, vengeful daredevil's armor. That looks rather good. Yep. So again, let's move that to Evan, I think. Uh, no, Tanny can have that. Moving up in the world, Tanny. What's this gonna do then?
Okay. How's he gonna take us back? Oh, nice. Perfect. Uh-oh. No, get away! Go away! You leave her alone. Ah, oh, right, I sh oh, Why didn't I change my tactic tweaker before I ran in here? Alright, quickly. Alright. Here it comes. Damn it. Ooh. Oh. Nuts. Queen of the Dawn, implacable Empress of Imps. Here goes nothing. Let's just take out the little ones first. Oh, that was easy enough. Wait, what? Okay, maybe let's just focus on her. Motion. What the hell is that? Yeah, that's not good. Whoa, 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 let's take a few of these out at least. Ugh. It's nice that the lock on stays on her even when she, um,. Teleports. Whoa. Oh, man. Shit. Okay. What are you doing? I'm not here. Make yourselves useful. Go, 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 go. Okay, we got it, we got it. Yeah, there we go. Knockout Redeemer's Sword. You saved my life. I, I thought I was going to be... They told me it was too dangerous to go wandering around the sewer on my own, but I wouldn't listen and just look what happened. Never mind that. What's important that you're not hurt? Hey. What are you doing down here, anyway? To the slum where all the Grimalkin live. Hmm. Really? But why would anyone want to visit a place like that? Well, if you're serious, you have to come and see me while you're there. I need to give you something to say thank you for saving bye -bye. me. Bye-bye. I'm Moglet, by the way. Bye-bye now. Okay. But... but She's gone. I hope she'll be alright on her own. Phew. Yeah, probably would have gone a little smoother if I had the tactic tweaker in the right place, but uh, we got there, we got there, we got through it. Mm. So it's this way, right? Where are we? Up there. More songbooks. Okay. 
I mean, I'm not really sure if anything more is going to come of that uh, songbook. I mean, yeah, it plays the songs. Okay, but... Then what? Yeah, the songs are great and everything, but... I don't know, I don't think I'm just going to sit here and listen to them. I mean, do you want to do that? Hmm. So here we are, the slum. They've crammed all the cat folk into this little place. By crikey, it ain't possible. Flippin' heck! And it's all musty and damp because of the sewers as well. It makes the old Sky Pirate base seem like a paradise. Well, shall we chat to a few people and see what we can find out? Ah, so we're there. Okay. How do we get up there? I want that sparkly thing. Hmm. Ah, okay. You seem familiar. You look like the guy from the Dreamers' mazes. We expected no less from the mice, of course, but for the humans to turn against us as well is awfully disappointing. The charges against us are all fal false, of course. Why, just the other day, my friend was arrested for wearing his trousers inside out. He hadn't even noticed. How is that even a crime? It's a crime against fashion. Monsters sometimes come in here from the old sewers, you know. You should see the hullabaloo that springs up when they do. They're only small and we can usually fight them off, but that doesn't stop everyone worrying that they might be poisonous or something. And some of us are living down here have got kittens. What if one day a bigger monster happens along when none of us grown-ups are here to protect the little ones? Honestly, it keeps me awake at night. Yeah, I'm sure it would. It's tragic, really. My beautiful fresh bread is being left to go all mouldy. I wish I could leave this kingdom and start a new life elsewhere, but how am I ever going to get the chance to do that? Well, we know a way out. All these constant patrols are making it harder and harder for me to see my beloved. He's a mouse, you see. Ah, I think we spoke to him. If the guards were to catch us together, they'd arrest him for consorting with a Grimalkin. Oh, how I wish I had been born a member of Mousekind. Hey, come on, don't think that. Hello. Moglin, there you are. Thanks again for saving me. Oh, I said I'd give you something thanks, didn't I? Here you go, a token of Moglet's undying gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. But are you sure? Fish are awfully hard to get hold of down here, aren't they? No, I simply can't take it. It's a reward enough to see you safe and sound. Really, it is. Really? You're sure? Well, if you insist. Oh, good. Thank you very, very, very much. Fish are really hard to get here, you know. I owe you double now. My mum loves these, you see, and I've been trying to get my paws on one for ages. I wanted to surprise her with a reminder of what it used to be like back home. What happened to your home, if you don't mind me asking? Well, the soldiers came, didn't they? And they threw us out, just like that. My dad tried to stop them, but they arrested him and took him off somewhere. Golly! Sorry to hear that. All I want to know is when we can go, when we get to go home. Mousinger will probably get tired of being king soon, and then things will all go back to normal, won't they? Oh. Um... The guards came and took my friends away. They said they've been plotting against Mousinger. I hope they're all right. Baby. Granny, I'm so hungry. Aren't we ever going to have fresh fish again? Oh, yes. Of course, my darling boy. One day, you'll have all the fish you could ever hope for. You'll just have to be patient. Here, have some of this sandwich to tide you over. Taking food from your grandma? Come on, pull yourself together. Mm -hmm. Ah, Shadow. Wait a second, you're the one who brought me the sardine sandwich, aren't you? Honestly, I have, you have, uh, you've no idea what that meant to me. Thank you ever so much. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, Grampus. Uh, okay, you take it easy. I liked my daddy better when he had a job. Now he just waters his pot plant all day. It's boring. He didn't choose to leave his job, though. They made him. He seemed really sad about it. Well, that is pretty sad. Right. Okay, that's back out to town. Ever since King Mousinger took over, the mouse soldiers have been allowed to do whatever they like. 
They harass Grimalkin in the streets even if they've done nothing wrong and always find some pretense for punishing them. One of my friends was just arrested for shoplifting while he was queuing up to pay. It makes my blood boil. I can't say anything though, otherwise they'll throw me in the, in the dungeons next. Honestly, most cats are afraid to even leave their houses these days. <sighs> Things are even worse here than I thought. <clears throat> Gah, Ding Dong Dale's rotten to the blessed core. Mm. But it's all because we used to persecute mouse kind. I'm sure there are plenty of people who are very happy to have Mousinger in charge. I, I don't condone what he's done, of course. A leader must prove must be above petty vengeance. There's certainly no way we can form a union with such a kingdom. <sighs> so what are you going to do? Get some vengeance of your own? Oh yeah. He killed my father and Nella. He overthrew me and stole my kingdom. And he drove all these poor people down here. <sighs> he has to be removed. Ding Dong Dell will never know peace otherwise. Well now. Tell me, Evan. Your father, was he a bad judge of character? What? Think about it. Why would he make someone like Mousinger his most trusted advisor? But, but... Well, I suppose he... Uh... I'm sorry, I need some time to myself, I think. Nice round. You have to se have to set about the poor lad so mercilessly, you devil. You can you not see it? Plays merry hell with his little head. Mm -hmm. He'll be okay. He's a king. Aye. Well, there is that, I suppose. Master Evan. talking about how you'd been spotted. Oh, I, I was petrified they might get to you first. You mustn't stay here any longer. King Mausinger has ordered your arrest. Thank you for your concern. But I came here to speak with him, as one ruler to another. I forge a union between our two kingdoms. And how do you plan to do that? In case you haven't noticed, the borders are closed. And the entire country is cut off from the rest of the world. I, I know, but... Can I ask you something, Ratcha? Is Ding Dong Dell better now? I think I know what's bothering you. But there's no need to worry, my dear. King Mausinger will come to his senses. He always hated injustice. That's why your father put his faith in him in the first place. Really? Oh, yes. Because he felt the same. And that's why he gave Mousefolk a chance, like no king of Ding Dong Dell had ever done before. Well, he made me his maid, didn't he? And Mausinger his chancellor. Such things were unheard of at the time. But Mausinger believes that... He believes that my father simply used him in order to keep Mouse Kind under control. Does he indeed? Then he's sorely mistaken. Your father, near enough, pulled his mane out trying to build bridges between our two peoples. It's just a shame you have to take an old maid's word for it. But if only he could have told you himself. His diary would have been the next best thing, I suppose, but I'm afraid they laid it to rest alongside him. Is that right? Thank you, Ratcha. You've been very helpful. Glad to be of service, my dear. Just you be careful now, you hear? Mm, so it seems like a bit of a uh, pugnacious situation, doesn't it? Where he's been corrupted by his uh, his advisor there. Here he is. 
Hey. Yes, you seem a little calmer. Mm. Yes, I think I am. Sorry about the fall. Well, now. You weren't wrong, Roland. The lad soon came to his senses. Right? Am I right? Listen, all of you, I must go visit my father's tomb. I need his diary. I need to... to get to know him better. Sounds good to me. Let's get going, shall we? Lead on, Evan. Okay, cool. Mad for monsters. Yeah, I ventured to Drakfrost's Drak playground and risked frostbite just to snap this little beauty. Tis a cousin of the hedgehound, but with a thicker coat of fur and no spikes on its back. It's not a flashy beast, but it's got its own unique style. I'm sure you'll agree. This is a great picture. It's so cool. So it has no spikes on its back? Intriguing. I'm more of a fan of the quiverine. Would it be possible to tame one of these? I'd love to stroke its fur, but I'd get eaten. Yeah, you probably would. Uh, more from the Rottenest Botanist. All manner of wonderful plants grow in the sea that are uh, every bit as alluring as those that grow on dry land. The sight of this seaweed dancing in the ocean currents is delightful. They are, there are also edible varieties called sea silk and swayweed, which are highly nutritious. Finally, aquatic plants deserve attention too. That pink one is really adorable. It really does look like a flower, doesn't it? Seaweed? Who eats seaweed? Blew. Yeah, I'm on the fence for seaweed. You know, it's alright with sushi and stuff, but uh, yeah, like I say, time, time and a place for it. Uh, what are we get, what are we doing now? Where are we going? Head for the king's crypt. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's go this way. I think I might know where that being. I think, I think that might be that door we saw out of town ages right back at the beginning. Uh, nope, I'm wrong. I'm completely wrong. Okay, we're uh, we're gonna take a pause from the main story uh, here. Um, but we are gonna pop back to. Can we go back to Everball? Yeah, we can. Okay, so we're just gonna do Evermore stuff for the rest of this episode. Uh, then next time we'll head to the crypt. We'll keep going. I'm not going to do any more side quests um, for the moment. Whoa, look at that money. Wow. Wow indeed, Roland. Okay, a lot of good stuff here too. Alright, let's take all of that. Now then, let's spend some of our dosh. What's the, can we do any more expanding coffers? How much is that? 1.5 million, oh no, right, 500,000. Um, but we need to be kingdom level four, which we are not. And for that, we still need 100 citizens and to build everything. So we're creeping up there with the citizens, still a lot, lot of building to do, which we might do today. Where, where did I... Where was I doing some research? Ah, uh, the... Was it the Higglery? I think it might have been. No. Well, I said something going just before I started the episode. Perhaps I didn't. Well, okay. So then. Hmm, what should we do? Let's level this up. Okay, that's that's max level now. Good. That's pretty cheap. We'll do that. Now that's also max level. Excellent. This is also max level. Yeah. And so is this. Good. So is this. Yes. And... So is this. Marvellous. That is also 
Now, what are we... Ah, ooh, let's say you do some, doing something. That must have been a while ago. Kingmaker's blessing has been completed. Cool. Why don't we level you up? That's pretty cheap. What can you do now? Uh, prayer for protection that makes Lofty give you more green gold and blue balls. <laughs> I think we might do that, you know. Leander's over here as well. How much to level up again? Yeah, let's do that. We'll just see what the other ones are, then we can sort of cherry pick them. But that red, green, uh, green, blue, and gold does look pretty good. So, what did that get us? A lot of green balls. Okay, well, let's do the king's bounty. Get to work on that, chaps. Actually, I think I want to focus on this one first. I think we're all done. Yes, yeah, so we just got one more. Then we're then we're completely done with this, and we can redistribute the other folk there. It's 150,000, but we're going to do it because then we're yeah, then we're all done. We can put those guys to use in other places. Ultimate reserve experience. Ah, oh, no, right. Deep dedication. Nuts. Don't, okay, so we need some more people. Okay. Let's just learn this stuff before we start doing other things. We've got to level up a load of our people too. So alright, then you get to work on that one. Alright, let's build the bar barracks. I think we just want to bring the other personnel straight over here. Yeah, they're all in there. So let's get you over because you need to be getting experience. Probably going to want to level this up too. Yeah, then we can just get them all over there and they're all still working. Wow, it's amazing how quick you can go through half a million King's Guilders, huh? Uh, so who's missing? Kimmy. Uh, ultimate, the ultimate shock ta tactic in which all units are completely healed. Even more might. Uh, lots more items. Let's do even more might. How much? We've got another 30,000 there. Uh -huh. Cool. Uh, let's level up our citizens quickly. Bracken, are you a master nail? Yes, you are. Tobias. Yeah. Also a master. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, loads of them. Yes. <laughs> yeah. A lot of them getting up, up to master level now. But it's really, um, what's the robot's name again? Andrew? He's the one we need to get up there. Well, it's not massively important because we still need uh, someone with uh, another ability. But he's getting there. He's getting there. So then, let's continue around here. What do we make here? More bazaars. Okay. Let's do that. Let's level up Aranella Square. Let's see what that looks like. Ah, lovely. Totally worth it. Reminds me of Super Mario 64. If we uh, look up to the sun there, we might get a new, uh, go to a new level. 
Right. Still a shame we haven't got anything that'll um, do anything for our ship. So yeah, let's get that going as well. Uh, increase line up at the general store. That'll be very good. What does it cost to level you up? 150. Okay. But we're nearly there. That's also looking very good. Very happy. Hmm. Don't have enough for that. That's okay. This here, we haven't done anything with this yet. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put Andrew in there. He's not doing anything. So why not? Can I put him in there? There he is. Cool. Okay. Well, let's see how that works out. Now that's all done with, isn't it? So we've got a little bit. Uh, let's see if we can just build some small things. Just make a start on that. Uh huh. So let's build a. Uh, well, let's build the last thing in Aranella Square, Wondrous Bazaar, or perhaps not. These are all rather expensive, actually. Well, we can build that one. Flourishing Lumberyard. Mm -hmm. Another fish market. Well, we could build another fish market. Yeah, let's do that, because we've got two over there. What? Let's bring, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut Glaucus a break here and put Sibylla over there. Cool. Alright, well that's going to do for today. Uh, next time we'll head straight back over to Ding Dong Dell area and continue on and see if we can find King Leonard's diary. Until then, take it easy. <laughs>